Question number six is also a probability question, but it's using a discrete random a continuous random variable as the function. So in part A, to show that question, I've got to come up with k equaling three on four all by myself. Since it's a probability density function, then the integral from one to four of k x to the half dx should equal one. So I might bring the k out here, x to the three on two on three on two from one to four should equal one. A times, I might bring the, that's going to be a two on the top, so two on three, x to the three on two from one to four equals one. So 2k on 3 times 4 to the 3 on 2 minus 1 to the 3 on 2 should equal 1. Now 4 to the 3 on 2 is 4 to the half cubed, which is the square root of 4, which is 2 cubed, which is 8. 2k on 3, 8 minus 1 equals 1. 7 times 2, 14k on 3 equals 1. Um, 14k equals 3, moving the 3 over, k equals 3 on 14. Exactly what I was asked to show. Now I need to find the expected value. So to do the expected value, part B, the expected value of x will be the integral from 1 to 4 of x times f of x dx, which will be the integral from 1 to 4 of x times k times root x dx, which is the integral from 1 to 4 of, um, what was k again? 3 on 14. x times the square root of x is x times x to the half, which is x to the 3 on 2 dx which should equal 3 on 14, x to the 5 on 2, on 5 on 2, from 1 to 4, which should equal 3 on 14 times 2 on 5, times 4 to the 5 on 2, minus 1 to the 5 on 2. Over here, 2 cancels with that 7 times. 3 on 35. 3 times 35. 7 by 35, yep. Times, now 4 to the 5 on 2. 4 to the half raised to the power of 5 is 2 raised to the power of 5, or 32 minus 1, which is 3 times 31, which is 93 on 35, is the expected value of x.